Well, the obvious answer to that question is West Germany, the FRG. It was a functioning democracy where basic civil rights were guaranteed, freedom of expression and the press, freedom of religion, right to assemble, et cetera, et cetera. Now, all of this existed in the GDR as well on paper, for example, in the constitution, in their laws, it existed on paper, but not in practice. One had to be very careful when expressing critical opinions, especially political ones. Criticism of the ruling Communist Party, for example, criticism of the Soviet Union. One also had to be careful not to do things like go on strike, even though that was a right specifically guaranteed in uh, the first East German constitution. Now, such actions and activities going on strike, criticizing the party, they could have severe consequences. Worst case scenario, one could wind up in jail. But there were all other types of sanctions and punishments. For example, uh, being told <clears throat> that your uh, child could not go on to study at a university. Or if you're a young person who is critical, being told you can't go on to study at a university. Uh, things not like not getting the job promotion you had hoped for. That said, there was much greater possibility to complain about non-political issues, right? Things like shortages of basic goods, like apartments, uh, things like poor working conditions, overtime. Rarely did those kinds of complaints have severe consequences. And truth be told, everyone did complain. And in fact, many local officials responded to this by trying to fix those problems. In other words, sometimes paid to complain. What about West Germany? Well, there was much greater possibility there to express grievances, including political ones. But what's sometimes neglected is the fact that there were also some notable limitations. And I'd like to give you just one example. In 1972, the West German government issued the so-called anti-radical decree. Uh, it came in response to a series of attacks, terrorist attacks by left-wing student groups. As a result of this, members of extremist organizations were not allowed to work as civil servants, for example, as teachers in schools. Now, the anti-radical decree was not rigorously enforced, especially after 1979, except, I should note, in one state, Bavaria. And Bavaria is a place that I worked many years ago. I worked for the Human Rights Office in the city of Nuremberg. And when I began my job there, I had to sign a statement explicitly stating that I was not a member of Scientology. 